in a little bit more zone we know we're going to have to major in a, a few different things to get ourselves ultimately where we want to go but it is good to see guys operate in a down in and down out basis in vision and break zone which is a big piece of what we do uh to uh, to, to just get uh, get to an area of the field uh get eyes on the quarterback and know know what their responsibility is and go make plays is it an oversimplification that vision break zone is an oversimplification to say that maybe it's easier for a younger guy to play because you can just read and react? Well, this is the SEC in major yeah. college football, so I never use the word easy. Yeah. <laughs> I think maybe sometimes things are maybe are simpler, yeah. and sometimes you can break things down in its simplest form, but there's layers and levels involved to everything. And I think ultimately more about uh, what's going to get us where we need to go, ultimately, is just execution. Mm -hmm. uh, you think about the process of getting game ready and what it involves. Uh, you know, you got to get a mentality. you got to get your play style together. Uh, you got to understand your scheme. Scheme is just what to do. Uh, then you get your fundamentals and your technique down. Fundamentals, traits required regardless of scheme. Your technique is how to do something. So how I play a third, how I play press, how we do certain things. And then ultimately you talk about offensive recognition and situational football. So there's a there's a there's there's days that we have to continue to stack one on top of another to get ourselves where we want to go. Uh, I think the guys are taking necessary steps. Uh, are, we, are we where we need to be right now? No, but I, I don't think anyone is. Uh, but I do think we're headed in the right direction. I think the guys have been doing a really good job adhering to what we've been asking them to do. Coach Mo, speaking of guys taking their steps in the right way, uh, Tony Mitchell is an in-state guy, very highly touted, a guy that came in with some early problems but has turned it around. What has he been bringing to the practice and how are you evaluating right now and where is he standing? You know, I think Tony's like a lot of the guys right now. The information's been new. Um, even some of the veteran guys, just because the newness of scheme and newness of staff, um, you can lean on veteran experience, but the calls are still new to you like the other guys. So I think there's a learning curve that's continued to take place with him. Um, the biggest thing that stuck out to me more than anything is I think there's a tight-knit group that is hungry and they want to work. I think there's a good core and a, good, a great foundation of guys that, that want to do it the right way. And um, so we're just trying to give them the opportunity to prove what they need to prove, put them in advantageous situations, and let the film decide really ultimately who does what so a lot of coaching is you know you get the guys lined up with the, the players in terms of what they do and the consistency of what they do they ultimately decide and they tell the story of who's going to do what and uh, so we're we're continuing on that process and uh, we're going to continue to put these days together hey coach as with your background as a recruiter and a former head coach what are your thoughts on like the possibility of a June signing day I think um, there's so many moving pieces involved when you think, you know, I was on the AFCA Board of Trustees, there's a lot of back and forth. It's like anything in industry when you make shifting changes there's advantages and then there's ultimate also built-in disadvantages. Uh, you try to have as much foresight as possible to anticipate what are the good and what are some of the negatives that can come out of it. We don't know all of them. Some of them you can anticipate, some of them you don't know. But ultimately, what are we trying to do? We're trying to grow our sport in a healthy way and do what's in the best interest of college football and what's in the best interest of the student athlete. Um, so uh, I think there's a lot of pieces and a lot of decisions that have to be made. And like anything else in industry and business, whatever those final decisions are, we'll, we got to stay ahead of the curve and be ready to swiftly make changes if, if that's what's necessary. Speaking, Speaking of recruiting, recruiting. You, know, you look at recruiting and doing the videos out here in the practice field, it seems like there's a pretty received pretty well from the recruits. I know you can't talk about certain recruits, but. Yeah, I, I think we're always trying to find ways to connect, always trying to find ways to make guys feel like that they are a priority. And um, you know, there's a lot of things that can make you successful in recruiting. Um, you know, we've we've had a lot of success you know, throughout the years. I think our staff and this program obviously has been a, has been a model, has been a standard of success. But really, the core of it, what are you trying to do? You're trying to genuinely connect with people. You're trying to, uh, you know, there's a process process of identification. There's a process of recruitment. I think now in the NIL age, there's a process of retaining those talented players. And then there's the development and the growth and then putting those guys in a situation where they can go out there and be successful. But we're going to find every single way that we can connect and have some fun with it. I think it's been a, a, a really, uh, it's been received very well from a lot of guys. I think one of the recruits posted it there and it made social media news. And and uh, I, th I think we've seen some, e some people even try to copy it a little bit. So it means we're doing it the right way, I guess. All right, Coach Mo, thank you. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you.